So I was at camp with my friend Allison, and there's this other girl there, but she reminded us of our friend Susan, but she wasn't actually Susan. And then we went to this party at the end of the camp, but are you listening to me? Sure. Okay, so then we went down to the salt wall. One of the most useful things of the man. Who knows what could happen? The sign could fall down, you need to tape something down, or you're trying to climb up a wall, you need tape, to use some sort of like suction to help hands, or, or, or. Okay, you're checked in. Okay. Oh, forgot my tape. Hello? Does anybody know where I'm supposed to be checking in? Way moron. Out of the way, moron? What are you talking about? You're the one who hit me. I'm not the idiot who ran into a parked car. At least if I hit someone with a parked car, I'd apologize. Ugh. to wear dress code on moving day. As soon as I'm going inside, I'm going to take advantage of this and change into my favorite t-shirt. Dude, you got the special edition Presley's? Yeah, that's what I spent my camp counseling money for. Camp counseling? I do not know how we got past those interviews. Yeah. So why do you want to be a camp counselor at Camp Starshine? I want to make some money. Oh, and also have a great time. What special talents do you have to offer the camp? Well, I'm a very sound sleeper. I like to eat. I don't get bored watching TV. Oh, and also, I know the name of every World Cup player. So why would you like this job as a camp counselor at Camp Starshine? Don't have anything else to do, really. What special talents do you have? <laughs> um, I'm a sound sleeper. I like to eat a lot. I guess they must have been understaffed. Yeah, well, I'm going to the nurse. Why? What happened? Okay, let's put it the simplest way. There was a spoiled brat. 
and there was a limo, and the spoiled bread hit me with the limo, and now I'm in pain. So, I'm going to the nurse. What's your room number? Room 309. I'll go up there when I'm done, and after I change. Okay, see ya. Bye. Well, if it isn't Levi Morgan, I promise this school year I will instill at least a little bit of spirit in uh, yeah, the only spirit I'm gonna have is in the kebabs. You know the ones at lunch? Not very mature. I assume you already found your room number? Yeah, on the internet. You know, if there was a robot apocalypse, you'd be so obsolete that they would get rid of you first. That wouldn't be very polite. You signed in! Levi! You are somewhere well. Uh, thanks. Well, aren't you going to compliment me? Uh, yeah. You have very nice toenail polish. No, silly. I grew out my hair. Oh, sorry. You just missed Harry. Thanks for complimenting my marvelous mane. I'm sorry. I just wanted you two to meet. It's okay. So, Harry's the guy you went to camp with? I didn't go to camp with him. We were camp counselors together. Same difference. Well... You want me to meet him? I want to meet him? I really think we're going to hit it off. I think you should go get your room number. Yeah. Oh, hello, Elizabeth. Did you have an enjoyable summer? It's Lizzie. I'm taking advanced Latin this year. My progress tries insinuate that I'll be finished by the end of the semester. What Latin are you taking? Or have you begun taking Latin yet? Oh, uh, advanced day at and I don't think I know those words. Was that a part of our Latin summer reading? Oh, uh, oh, Ari say, I a us way iking stay ig pay at me. Oh, okay, me neither. It's on, Ben! So hot, I'm gonna go change. This is my room! Whoa! What? <laughs> who, who are you? I am Basil. Would you like man cave admission? Only 10 cents per hour. What man cave? This man cave? I don't know if you understand. This isn't a man cave. This is a dorm room, and this dorm room is my bedroom. No, every dorm comes equipped with a complimentary man cave. Uh, no. Where did you hear that? From Kevin. Who's Kevin? I am Kevin, Basil's personal assistant and classmate. What? I lost a bet to Basil, so now I have to be his personal assistant for the first semester. Uh, that's weird. Crap and Tom Banana? Sure, thanks. I'm sorry, this one is for me. I paid you $20 for him for about this dorm. You said I had a man cave. I need tips. What about the man cave? It could be a man cave. Go on. All you need to do is get rid of this guy and dispose of the evidence that he ever existed. Yeah, I go. What are you still doing in my man cave? It's my bedroom. No, it's my cave. Bedroom. Cave. Bedroom. Cave. Cave. Yeah, that's a cave. Oh, I thought that would work. I'll give you $100 to get out of my man cave. That wouldn't work on me. That wouldn't work on anybody. Hi, roommate. I know you and I are going to be best friends. What's a roommate? I'm a roommate, roommate. You know what? $100. Get a new room. $100? You know what? Let's make it $200. Here's the first six months. Get out. Peace at last. What did you do to my bed? It's my sofa. You know that you're a pretty considerate guy. No, yeah, I know. Why? Because of the frog. What oh, frog? Well, the kid who lived here before us had a pregnant pet frog. And he lost it at the end of the year. And by the way, that pool is a perfect spot for frog eggs. Time to start on back. I'll get the ice bag for you, okay? Thank you. What's the matter, sweetie? What can I do for you today? There are frog eggs in my eyes! Frog eggs! Whew. Lizzie and I are going to grab a bite to eat at Pete's Grill. You want to join us? 
Okay, see you up here in a second. So Harry's gonna meet us up here in a second. Great, I can't wait to meet him. I really think we're gonna hit it off. So wait a minute. You convinced a guy to leave because there was a pregnant frog on the loose? Well, yeah, but there is a pregnant frog on the loose. Oh. Who is it? Terry. That voice sounds familiar. Come in. What is she doing here? What is he doing here? Santiva Prep. I want to personally take this opportunity to wish you all the best this year in middle school. I hope you all had a great summer and expended all the energy you needed to because Santiva Prep is going to offer you many challenges and opportunities. I hope you're all excited. No. Yeah. They weren't in our dorm. I found them hanging out behind the auditorium. Want us on the school musical? I didn't know you were such a talented actress. Where do you get your singing voice? From the corporate cuts factory in China. Why do you tell me that? I love this thing. Red, orange, yellow, green, sing along to the color train. Can I sit here? I must consult Basil first. Sure. Well, I don't want you to. Marilyn wants him to sit here. We bet that no beautiful people would come to this school. Basil, who did you consider beautiful? Hey, to the homecoming. No, I actually bet that I That's my friend. You're so lucky. So, speaking of bricks. What does that have to do with bricks? Nothing, I just want to talk about bricks. So anyway, speaking of bricks. Mr. Bricksy got beaten up pretty bad. But Kevin took him to the guy, now he's all better. See? I blew my whole tip on having a guy come in and fix his stupid action figure. It's not an action figure, it's a plastic brick. Plastic plastic. What's the difference between that and a doll? It's not a doll, it's a plastic brick. They did pick a couple of dolls a few years back. Yeah, that was a disaster. Wait, who are you? I'm Julian. How long have you been there for? What do you mean by long? How much time have you been here for? What do you mean by time? This is really creepy. What do you mean by creepy? Oh, 
welcome back everyone. I see a lot of familiar faces. For those of you who don't know me, I will be teaching you art this semester. I first want to thank Basil for his family's generous donation of Fundo. Thank you so much, Basil. It's going to make it very exciting this semester. So I'd like to begin the semester with a pretest, but more of a contest. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to create a clay sculpture using the Fundo to create something from the post-classical era. You may be the lucky recipient of a B plus for this semester. That's too easy. There's something else in for the prize. I have my coffee. That's good. Okay, if you're ready, you may begin. What's the post-classical era? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure they didn't have helicopters in the post-classical era, Basil. I know. It's just the only thing I know how to make with clay. Oh, the beauty of the croissant! Golden flaky crust straight from the earth since up. You just ate my projects! I know, I'm hungry! It's clay! I know. I should have all that fun though when I was little. you to write yes what was the homework so the homework was for you to write a little bit about yourselves and we're going to finish it up here in class you can write on your tablets and then when we're done we'll discuss them listen play a game no come on just play a game i gotta write the teacher will find out yeah he will chicken no here just use my headphones I'm not going to play a game. Come on, just play it. <sighs> no, you're gonna have to wrestle this out of my hands if you want me to play a game. <sighs> now will you play a game? Fine. Here. <sighs> you didn't plug in the headphones? Do you know why you're in the Dean's office? For playing a game in class. I really don't know why I'm here. For damaging school property. What do you mean? This clogged up the school sewer pipe. It has your name on it, Harry. But since this is your first day, I'll let all of you slide. Harry, you forgot this. Come on, Julia Scott. This is my shirt. Life isn't fair. This is my shirt. Come on.
there forever.